Yet another Target exclusive. How's it going, everybody? Mike here from Kapowcast, back with another NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figure review. Today we are taking a look at Metalhead. Um, yes, this is another Target exclusive. Uh, wonder if we should seek some sponsorships through Target with all these exclusives we're doing. Uh, but anyways, it's a very beautiful box. I love this box art. It's just like the old VHSs. It's so great. They got the... Uh, F-H-I-E, or F-H-E, what? I don't remember what it was. The little logo on the bottom here, you got Nickelodeon, the beautiful art here, with Donatello, and I think that's Michelangelo. When I originally saw it, I thought it looked like Raphael, but that looks more like an orange color. Anyways, we got the side art here that looks, once again, just like the um, VHS along with images of the figure there with some great art that looks like it was pulled right from the VHS and a brief little read up there on Metalhead if you want to check that out. Not much on the bottom, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the top. We pull this open, it's a little Velcro seal. There he is in all his glory. That is an awesome picture right there, I really like that. But this guy, he is stunning, absolutely stunning. So let's take a moment, let's get him open, let's take a look at accessories, and take a look at Metalhead. And here is Metalhead with all his nifty accessories in hand. Uh, next time NECA, cool it with the plastic ties, man, like... Nothing kills my mojo for opening a figure faster than having to snip, pull, snap a bunch of little plastic ties. It's just, ugh, ugh. Uh, he does come with some hands, first of all. He does come with some gripping hands. That's not one of them. That's not one of them. This is one of them. Uh, he does go with some gripping hands. Uh, you could have him hold some of the turtle weapons if you'd like, or I don't really know what else you'd have him hold because there's not really much else he comes with that he can hold, but they're very nicely painted. Once again, that beautiful matte paint with the black lines making it look like it jumped right out of the screen. Just fantastic stuff. Then we do have a pair of fisted hands that he can use to smash turtles with or foot depending on where you're going to be putting them in your collection. Very nice. And uh, first up, he does have this drill. I really like how this drill looks. It's very cool. The black line work also always such a great touch. Uh, he has a vacuum cleaner, which we saw from the uh, back of the box where he was vacuuming Splinter. He does have a little bit of a hinge on it, so you can kind of get it a little bit, but I wouldn't force it too much, because NECA stuff is kind of prone to breakage. Um, and then we have this gun here, which goes on his chest. And I believe to port that on, pull metal head here. You gotta get in here. Open this up. And... I don't want to press too hard because I don't want to break it. And then you kind of get this wire to go in this little spot right here. And there you have it. That looks really cool. I like that. I don't think I'll be displaying them like this, but it's a pretty cool alternative option that I really like. And not to mention the hinge parts on here on the chest opening up is fantastic. So let's get that out uh, and let's take a closer look at Metalhead. All right, so taking a closer look here at Metalhead, he looks fantastic. This guy, you're gonna hear me say this a few times, he looks like he jumped right out of the screen. Just look at the paintwork, you got that matte finish. The only thing I don't like about matte finishes, which this has happened on the DC Batman figures too, is um, you sometimes get like a, like if you can see here, you get like a little glossiness that comes through. I don't know what that is, but it always happens every like matte finish figure I've ever had, it's on there. Uh, but anyways, we have this great line work once again going through making it look like the cartoon. Um, one thing that I think is funny and I can't unsee it and you might not be able to unsee it after I point this out, 
is all I see in this area is a face. That is it. Like, these are the eyes, this is the nose, this is the mouth. That's all I can see, and I hope I didn't ruin it for everybody, and now that's all you can see. Uh, taking a closer look here at the bottom half. Like, so, funny enough, um, and the paint after just great. It's got the cell shading on the back. You got this little switch. But funny enough, I actually have um, two of these right now. Uh, and, and don't get crazy on me, people. This one's actually for Tony. But I actually like wanted to compare the paint apps on them. And they're so consistent. Like, there's no real, like, crazy difference in any of the paint apps. They're so precise and so identical that, like, it's great. Like, it's, it's nice that you don't have to go through the shelf and you don't have to, like, you know, uh, pick and shoot. Like, look, okay, well, this one kind of has messed up paint here, but this one has messed up paint there. So which one would I rather, you know, settle with? Um, once again, take a look at the back. You can see some glossiness. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera. There's some glossiness on the shell. I do have a little nick there. I don't know if that's a nick or just a knot in the plastic on that back part of the shell, but that's okay. You just have to switch in the back, which I am concerned. I know a lot of people are concerned that if this guy takes a tumble back, that might snap because he is a hef hefty figure. He is heavy. But I really like this guy a lot. He's really nice. Um, yeah, not much more else I can say. It's, it's great. It's worth it. Um, and if, uh, hopefully you all were able to get the pre-order going on the NECA site so you can get your copy and you don't have to pay insane scalper prices for this guy. He's a $30 figure. You shouldn't have to pay $100, $125, or whatever it is uh, people are charging for this guy now. So this guy, yes, very nice. Uh, let's pop off one of his hands here. And that was surprisingly easy. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. Plug that drill on. And that looks really cool. It might have him displayed with the drill. Don't know. Very nice. Uh, let's, just for the sake of it, let's get that vacuum on. These go on very easy, which is, to me, that is always, and I, I think I've said this before, that increases the fun factor so much on a figure that has may have swappable parts that the parts be easy to swap out. I, I hate feeling like I'm going to break it where I'm just trying to pop out, you know, change the head and the hands. Um, it's, it's no fun to feel like, you know, you're going to be, you have to be delicate and, and all that stuff. It just, I don't know, it's not a good time. But these transfer out really nicely. I'm really impressed with how well, let's try to get one of these hands on, see how well, so easy. So easy a baby could do it. Though I don't recommend it due to the warnings on the box. But super nice. So let's take a look at his articulation. But first, I'm going to heat him up before we do that. Okay, so Metalhead is all heated up. He is ready to go. Uh, articulation is as follows. His head's on a swivel type joint. So he can go side to side. He can go up just a hair. He can look down pretty good. And he does have jaw articulation. Nom, 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 nom. Which is fantastic. Uh, his arms can go all the way around. They might run into the head a little bit, but you can just move it out so they can go out about that far. Uh, he has an upper bicep cut. He does have a, a what I believe is a single jointed elbow. It's kind of hard to tell there. Uh, he does have a, race, a rest, a raced. He does have a elbow swivel, a wrist swivel, and a hinge that goes up and down. It That goes for all the hands. Uh, his legs can't really go up that far because they're on like a ball joint they can go back about that far he can do the splits pretty well though so check that out james brown uh metalhead james brown james brown metalhead uh his legs can go up about <clears throat> that far his legs can bend just singly i think uh looks like there is another joint in there but that's as far as i'm willing to push it uh 
I'm trying to see if he has a he has a swivel here at the obviously with the ball joint. I'm trying to see if he has I don't think there's a swivel in the Oh, there is one here at the knee. So that's a separate joint than that. So I knew I felt something going on there. Uh, and he has a ankle hinge and some ankle pivot going, so not too bad. He also has, get this, waist articulation. So he can go side to side, it's a bit stiff, that's even after heating it up. So you do have that, and then I guess if you wanna count this, he has the switch in the back, which can go up and down. So not too shabby at all, NECA, not too bad. So getting into some comparisons here, here is Metalhead with the NECA Tune Raphael. As you can see, he is a big boy. He towers over all the turtles. Here he is up against some foot soldiers, still a lot taller. Here he is with Shredder and Krang, and him and Shredder look to be close to the same height. I think Metalhead might have a little bit of an edge on him, ever so slightly. And here he is with Bebop and Rocksteady, which he's taller than, but I think if I have these guys stand a little bit more upright, eh, he's still pretty much taller than him. Maybe, maybe not. No, no, but, yep, looks like Bebop is taller. So I imagine the same for uh, old Rocksteady there. And there you have it, that's Metalhead, another fantastic figure from NECA Toys. Uh, sad face though, because he did take a tumble and exactly what I feared would happen happened. This started to bend, so I'm not even touching that anymore. I'm not gonna flip it down or anything like that. Uh, pretty pumped about that, uh, but consider that a cautionary tale to you. Um, maybe get this guy a stand. He does have some peg holes down there um, because he, he stands, but if you try to do any poses, he's a little unstable and that just still doesn't sit with me. But other than that, I mean, this is a fantastic figure. Like I said, it looks like it jumped right out of the uh, show, which I think is fantastic. Um, so yeah, uh, if you haven't, keep on the lookout. Don't feed the scalpers. Um, NECA was really cool and put this guy up for pre-order for a week. Um, don't know if they'll do it again, but maybe since the demand isn't gonna be as high since a lot of people did that, we will start seeing them in stores a bit more. If you like this video and you wanna see more, go ahead, click like, Hit subscribe along with the bell notification to get notified of all the great content we post up on here every week, almost every day. Till next time, take care.